Hi, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard, and today we're gonna to be opening some lyrical melody boxes. Before we get into that, I'm gonna quickly announce the winners from the last giveaway. If you guys don't remember or weren't around, I did my first giveaway, Lyrical Monasterio theme supplies. So there were three deck boxes and two sleeves. So there were five winners. I'm gonna be announcing the winners right now here on the channel. Winners are gonna be Glenroy R, Oscar L, Larry, just Larry, Alyssa P, and Stephen B. So thank you guys so much for entering in the giveaway. With that being said, we're doing another giveaway. So I'm gonna be opening one box of Lyrical Melody here on the channel. And then another box is gonna be a giveaway. So there's only gonna be one prize this time, but it's a pretty good prize considering it's a box. You just have to follow the same guide. The guidelines that are gonna be listed. The link will be provided in the description. So you guys can just read through that if you wanna figure out how to enter to win a free box of Lyrical Melody. This giveaway would not have been possible if we're not for Triple Sleeve TCG. I highly recommend you guys check out Triple Sleeve TCG on their website. They sell playset bundles, including the upcoming booster set for DBT-03. They also sell singles on their vendor site for TCG Player. They also sell character sleeves from the Overdress anime, as well as over sleeves. You can put them over those uh, character sleeves as well. Thank you to Triple Sleeve TCG for always helping us out with these sponsorships and providing the content for these giveaways. So with that being said, let's just jump right in to the unboxing. Alright, so going right into it, here's our box of Lyrical Melody. So this is the first English printing of Lyrical Melody in English. So this is the first English printing for Lyrical Melody. It's a booster set. Ah. A special tool today. It's gonna be a fork. There we go. So get that all nice and unwrap. So the main boss units are pretty much gonna be the five. So one, two, three, four, and then cover art, which is War Beasts. I believe it's um. Laura Nelly or something like that. So popping that right open. Ooh, we got a little mark, a little marker in there. So little advertisements for overdress, zero, stuff like that. Oh, it doesn't have a doesn't have a thing on the other side, it's just a vanguard back. So it's just in like an over-trigger marker, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Um too bad it's not double-sided. The ones we got before were double-sided, but whatever. Little critical markers in there. So let's go ahead and grab all these packs out. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 16 packs. So this is 20. And this is one, this side. Two, three, nope, there's eight there too. So we have 16 packs. And we'll go a little whiffle there. And let's get right into it. The first pack. Got some grade three common, another grade two common, starter, an order, and dragonoids. And we got our first rare. So this is angel support, and then Ooh, hollow heel trigger. That looks really nice, actually. So that's cool. This is for the ghosts. Yeah, so this is the ghost heel. So there's ghost themes, war beast themes, drag dragonoid things. There's mermaids. So it's kind of like if, um, you know, if Bermuda Triangle decided to, you know, take off the aesthetics of like angel feather, etc. But we're mostly keeping up with like a Bermuda Triangle theme here as well. All right, so we got a crit, got a common. What's this thing? It looks like it soul charges and boosts. Florenzia, ghosts, uh, human. So uh, this is in the back row. It's a great two. It gets boost. You got Feltirosa, vampire. And we got Clarissa. So this is one of the boss units for the right deck. This is for the 
Dragonoids? Yes. Or Dragoroids, I'm sorry. Dragoroids. <laughs> so these are for the Dragoroids. So Clarissa's thing is, um, has to do with the order, like the main, um, order for the deck. I believe it might be that Crisis and Skill, they aim to be the strongest idol. So, and then you basically have to have the whole deck revolve around that order card. So it's a pretty decent deck. I know it's not good as War Beasts, but I do like the aesthetic of the, the Dragoroids. So that's our first Triple R. Let's keep going. Ooh, so we got the, I believe this is the grade one for the ride deck. This is Alestial. Yeah, this is for the ride deck. So this is about black wings and white wings. Um, so when white wings, uh, when you ride from your deck, you can soul blast instead of choosing a card from your hand and discarding it. And then when black wings, all of your opponent's grade one or less rear guards cannot attack. They can't attack this unit, so it can't be rushed. So that's pretty good. And then when placed on the Vanguard Circle, you bind the top card of your deck. And then going from there, White Wings is active when you bind only has odd grades, and Black Wings is when it's even grades. So that's how you decide if it's Black Wings or White Wings. So that's pretty cool. So we got some more crits. Another crit. So you can have like different effects. This is back to the Dragoroid aesthetic. We have a War Beast draw. It's kind of cute. It's got little goat ears. A Ghost draw. No, that's a Ghost front. We have a Demon. So this is when it's placed on R. You choose one of the other units. It gets 10k, so it's a grade one with 3k power. Wow, we got the another boss unit. We got Willista. Uh, so Willista is part of the human deck. So you can Soul Blast um, Ruby. And until the end turn, this gets 15k and your opponent cannot intercept. And then you can Soul Blast a Sapphire and you will get the top five cards from your deck. Choose up to two cards from among them, call them the rear. You discard the rest and they get 5k. So it's about board, board building. Um, I guess you could say maybe it's about guard restriction, but it's kind of like a stretch there since intercepting is not like the best or most consistent way of protecting yourself, but it's there. Yeah, and that's it for that pack. On to the next one. All right, we're back to humans. We got another human. When this is wrote upon, you go second, so it's a grade zero. Sorry, it was like, a mos if you see me waving around, there's a mosquito near me and it's annoying. Um, angel, we got soft life Pruo. It's a really pretty heal, by the way. Uh, another angel, we got a front. Uh, Black wings, uh, so this is part of the angel support. Uh, War beast support. Um, when this is placed on rear guard circle from hand, reveal the top card of your deck. And if it's not a grade two, you call it an open rear. And if you didn't call it reveal the, put the reveal card on your deck, so about fill in the board. And what's this? We got a hollow card. And this is doing this put on the guard circle. You choose up to one of your rear guards with earnest correct in its name when you return it to your hand. Cool. That was it. Keeping it going. Let's see, this looks like ghost support. Yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely a ghost. Human, ghost, angel support. That's an elf. Human, that's a triple R. Ooh. So that's ghost girl support. So triple R grade three. When this unit is placed on rear, other than from hand, you counter charge one. Choose one of your other rear guards in the same column as this and stand it. That's pretty good. When this attacks, if this gets, uh, when this attacks, this gets 5k to the end of battle. At the end of battle, put this unit on the bottom of your deck. So, resources, restanding rear guards. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the ghost deck does, but this deuce does seem like a really good card. Triple rare, obviously, so. Kind of gave it away there. Yep, that's it. Going on to the next pack. Oh, that was a little rough to open. 
All right. Let's see what we got here. Draw trigger. I believe this is Willis to ride deck. Grade one. Grade zero order. This is for the wings. Play the your Vanguard is Archangel Twin Wings. I'll steal. Choose one of your units being attacked and it gets 5k, so it's a blitz order. And for each of your rear guards with odd grades until the end of the turn when uh, when your unit with an even grade is retired from rear guard, you may put that card in your soul instead of the drop. So that's an interesting card to play around with. Uh, so Touch by Ruby and Sapphire. This tuning is 10k. Uh, ooh, Dragoroid PG. And we got a double R. It's a human. It's when this is boosted, soul blast one. Until the end of that battle, increase this unit's power by the original shield of the boosting unit. Interesting, it does it by shield. And I believe that's it. Yep. Going on to the next one. That looks like a Dragoroid. All right, grade three. When this unit is placed on the rear, you count blast two, leave five cards, choose up to two trigger units and call them. So I'm filling a board, sucks that there's a trigger units. That is a, an elf. During your turn, this gets too good for each of your cards in your order zone. Sophisticated Teresa and this attacks. If you played in order, you soul blast one, this gets 5k. Um, Angel, White Wings, uh, this unit gets 2k and 5k shield. When this, is, when this unit boosts a Vanguard draw card, choose a card from your hand, discard, so filtering. Oh, that was an over trigger, but... So let's go ahead and go through this, this rare real quick. Um, when this placed on rear from hand, Chemos just gets a crit. Not bad. 10k base, kind of sucks though. And it's an Angel! Uh, over trigger. I believe all the lyrical monastery over triggers are exactly the same. It's just different card art based on what aesthetic you want to fulfill. So the additional effect is during this fight, you get during your turn all your rear guards get 10k power. So that's so you you drive check it and you get that for the rest of the game, which is really really nice. So that's <laughs> really good over trigger there. All right, cool. So let's go on to the next pack. Uh, let's see, we got the grade zero for the ride deck. Uh, War Beast heal, that's, that's kind of cool. Little ears there. Vibrant Symphony. Um, if an attack hit your Vanguard during this turn, you choose one of your units being attacked and it gets 30k to the end of battle, so that's like a pretty good guaranteed defense there. Admire Deer, Sister, Felty Rosa. When this is Roto, oh yeah, so it's the uh, vampire stuff. Um, when this is put on guard circle, so last one, choose one of your units with uh, Ernest correct and it gets 10k. Uh, Mermaid PG and this is Triple R, Elkia Angel. So let's see what this does. When your Vanguard is placed, bind this unit and draw a card. Cool. When this unit is bound, your card's white wings and black wings are both activated until the till the end of your opponent's next turn. So that's probably a key card right here if you want to activate both effects consistently. So that's really nice. So good card there. All right, going on to the next pack. Uh, Willista grade zero? Yep, it looks like it. So it looks like a little, little dancing there, prepping for practice or a show or something there. Another angel heal. We got an angel front. An angel draw. We got the Willis to grade one. And Elise. What does this do? It's ghost. At the end of the battle, this unit attack while boot while it's boosted. Put this in your soul. Choose when you were gonna get 5k, so that's power increase. Whoa! What is that? That's an SP. Um Black Wing, so it's angel support. SP bar bar rule. Bar rule. When this is placed on rear, so last three, Black Wings, choose one of your opponent's units for every two of your rear guards, even grades, and they get minus 5k until the end of turn. Then your opponent puts all of their rear guards with zero or less to the bottom of their deck. Decent control card. I don't really know exactly how well this card does in competitive play, but you know, I, I don't, I haven't been play testing any of these lyrical Monasterio decks, so. 
But so far, all of these aesthetic, like the aesthetics of each different deck does seem pretty cool. Like it's not, it's not like they all just do the same thing or similar things to each other. Dancing Square Elmer was placed on guard, 5k for each card in your order, in your order zone. Um, this human gets shield. Another human, order zone. So the, it looks like the humans all have to do with the order zone, like multiple cards in the order zone. White wings, this gets 10k. During a turn, if you have it, it's correct, it gets 2k. Sweet Tongue Kramhild? Cream, cream when this place more during battle phase, so this one gets 10k, so multi attacking. We have a double R. This is demon support. When this boosts, if you're Vanguard, sung a song this turn, this unit gets 5k into the end of battle, and this unit is in the back row, center column, you get to counter charge one. So that's pretty cool. It's Vanguard singing. That's a that's definitely a thing that you can do. All right, next pack, we got an order card. And let's see what it says. It says, if you have three or more rear guards, all your units being attacked, get 15K. That's cool. So it's a blitz order that protects your unit, like all of your units in general. That's really nice. Um, when this is wrote upon, so this is vampire support. When this is wrote upon, you soul blast one, choose up to one ghost. Uh, from your drop and put it into your hand during your turn if you have a ghost on your rear this gets 2k So it seems the ghosts and the vampires work together We got Clarissa grade one for the ride deck uh, Once placed on van by riding on top of dignified will Clarissa you look at seven cards Choose up to one grade one or less Earn is correct and reveal it put it in your hand shuffle and Then during your turn if you do not have any regards this gets 5k Interesting. Cool. So let's help you uh, get a little big number there on Vanguard Circle. When it's placed on rear during your battle phase, put this in your soul and you draw a card. Okay, so kind of kind of ghosts doing their thing, filling the soul. What does this do? Normal order. Twilight Sound of Waves. It actually sounds pretty peaceful. When this card is put into your order zone, choose one of your vanguards that gets 5k. Order zone, when this song is sung, all of your front row units gets 5k. That's pretty cool. It says set order, yeah. So it's one of those set orders. So the more set orders you have, the more effects that the humans do, it seems. So next, Lilista grade two, I believe. When you play a gem card, draw a card. For every two gem cards in your drop, this gets 5k. Okay, 5k shield. What is that? That's a hollow. Thought it was like a double R or something. When it's placed on rear, soul blast one, discard a card from your hand, choose a gem from your drop and put it into your hand. So we got gems. So the war beast things are gems. And I think that's it for that pack. We got about five packs left to go. So you can get through these quick. We got ghost heal, more health support, Clarissa grade zero, Sapphire, Everlasting Sapphire, PG, Legia, and I got a Hollow Clarissa, Clarissa, so we got two Clarissas in the same pack. So that feels kind of like a waste of a pack, but hey, Hollow, uh, hollow Clarissa, that's pretty cool. All right, going on next pack. Let's see. We got some common card. Uh, War Beast support, Ghost support, Human support, Angel support, and more War Beast support. And I got a, a Hollow of Sound of sound of Waves. So that's a, we got a Hollow song there. That's cool. It looks really pretty. All right, three packs left. All right, we got Ghosts. War Beasts, Angels, War Beasts. Oh wait, this is Loronural, 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 the uh, ride chain. Yeah, um, Dragoroid draw trigger. We got Clarissa grade two, and we got a double R. So what do we get for this double R? Uh, Aerith, 
When this attacks while boosted, if your Vanguard is Aceus Kyrie, kind of lost one, choose up to one card from your hand and call it to an open rear. Okay, cool, so multi-attacking. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Down to two packs. So we got clean, clean. Play this card, Cannon Blast 1, draw a card, choose one of your units, and it gets 5k. That's really, really, really simple. But hey, look, they're, they they do be cleaning. Um, something that gets 2k, a front trigger Dragoroid. Um, what does this do? It looks like a demon. Yeah, it is a demon. When this is placed on rear from hand, if you have three or more rear guards, draw a card. Cool, so drawing cards is good. Hilda, Elf, um, more earnest correct support. Nicoline, PG, we got a double R. What does this double R do? Back row, when your other ghost is placed during the battle phase, you get to stand this unit. Cool, so, you know, more boosting. And that's it for that pack. For the very last pack, let's see what we get. So it looks like a ghost front. Ghost front, ghost crit, human card common, Angel common, ghost common, and this is a set order. Matter red runway, when this card is put in your order zone, if your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, draw. Order zone, when a song is sung, choose one of your vanguards, it gets a crit. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie, it's just giving something a crit, that's not, that's not terrible. Double R, uh, demon support. When you play Everlasting Sapphire for Vanguard is Willista, you draw a card. Cool. Not bad. So that was it for the whole box. So let's go on and take a minute and see what the high rarity stuff is. All right. Uh, for high rarity foils, not counting the um, hollows. So we got Blessing Diva Grizzale. So we got an Angel Over Trigger. Put that over there. And we got human support double R, demon grade one, human grade two, and a ghost grade one, the one that restands. And then we got the thing that draws a card for the Willista deck. So that's what we got for our double R's. For our triple R's or grade threes, we got a Willista, we got Elkel. Um, so that's the one that activates both black and white wings. We got Ingrid. Um, Ingrid is the thing that restands stuff and then gives things power. And then we got Clarissa, the main ride for the Dragoroid deck. And we got an SP Angel, Barriel. And um, it uh, kind of board wipes, but not really because it just does minus five on your opponent's cards. It's kind of hefty with the Soul Blast 3 and it's Black Wings only, but it's not bad. It's kind of a pretty SP there. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for this box. So let me know what you guys think of the booster set. I know a lot of people are actually really excited for Lyrical Melody. I can kind of see why all these card effects just from like kind of browsing through them, they do seem really good. So I can see why people are really excited. Again, I'm going to be giving away another box of this. Uh, the link is going to be in the description below. And you guys can read the details about how to enter and what the rules are. And it'll be about a week until the winners are announced for that next giveaway. Thank you all again for watching. And I hope you all have a good one. Bye.